Let's give it up for ASUS Middle East Region and Health, Jeff Lowe on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ASUS Middle East Regional Media Conference. Good morning. Thank you very much. Originally supposed to a dinosaur will come, but he ran away. Okay. Thank you for your coming today. So firstly, we would like to appreciate all the media friends. They come far from Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. Oman, Bahrain, and the UAE, and the rest of the Middle East countries. So we thank you for your time to join us. Some of the medias, actually, we meet in the December media conference. And then, if you still remember, at that time we promised ASUS will be active to deliver those exciting products and the news to all the medias and media friends aggressively. And today, we keep the promise and we are more than happy to continue. And the second, we want to appreciate all our channel partners. With your great support always, we are able to bring those exciting new products to the Middle East users. We know it's not easy for you to take the time to join here today, because right now it's a Dubai shopping festival, happy selling. And the third, we want to thank you for the ASUS fans. Some of the fans have been through the, our digital campaign and they become the winners. So we hope you enjoy today's media conference. And then later tonight, we had the one end user parties. Hope we have fun and see you later. And the last and very important, we want to thank you for the headquarters great support. So Middle East has been chosen the first stop for the World Product Tours. So right after the CES, the older headquarter team, they bring the new products to Dubai. To take the older Dubai user and the channel partner and the media friends to experience ASUS latest technology. So ASUS founded in 1989. Till this year, 2019, has been through 30 years. So on the journey of bringing such of the incredible, we have to create many remarkable milestones for the global IT and the mobile industry. So we have been the worldwide number one market share for the motherboard, VGA car, and the gaming monitor. Especially for the motherboard, we have been worldwide number one for more than 25 years. 2006, ASUS launched the first Lamborghini notebook. At the same year, we launched a new gaming brand. That is a Republic for Gamer, ROG. If you still remember, laser notebook, bamboo notebook, the first notebook, EPC, the first notebook with a two panel, that is a Tai Chi. The first gaming notebook with a water cooling system. And last quarter, we just launched the worldwide first ZenBook with the screen pads. That is the UX 580. So with the endless patience. So where is ASUS now? So ASUS right now is ranking number four for the global notebook brands. And number two, as ROG brand, of the gaming notebooks markets. How about the Middle East? Thank you for the whole the Middle East things efforts. ASUS is the number three for the consumer notebook markets. And we are the number one, there's the ROG of the gaming notebook markets. Thank you very much. Not just only recognition by the users, but also recognition from the international media and the influencer. Driven by the innovation, commitment to the quality. In 2018, ASUS have won more than 4,500 awards. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
So you may ask me, Jeff. So what is the secret? Why we have to win so many awards? Why we can always become the leaders? Become to to launch the the worldwide first. So that is the secret. As is the company we focus on the R&D investment. Amongst more than sixty thousand ASUS staff, they are more than five thousand staff. They are R&G R&D engineer. They are world class level, for sure. And not just only for these outstanding engineering capabilities. I think the most important is the spirit. That spirit that is what we call in search of incredible. That is the spirit for every ASUS staff. So we are passionate about the technology and driven by innovation. And we aspire to deliver the incredible in everything we do. That's just what we prepare the event today for you. So we hope you enjoy it. Gaming, ROG model ship, the new Zebra S, the new Zenbook with the screen to body ratio, 97%. And also the new Vivo Blue S series. We hope we can take the time today to experience, enjoy our products. So no further delays. There are more exciting story will share by my college. Please allow me to introduce the senior, the senior communication analyst from the ASUS Design Center. Let's welcome Xi Chen. Hello everyone. Hi. Very excited to be here. I see some smiley faces. My name is Si Chen. I'm representing ASUS Design Center and today I would like to give you my warmest welcome to everyone that joins us today. Today my responsibility here is to share with you the design insights and also the product details behind all of the products that we're introducing you today. So before I dig into the design, I would like to spend a moment in the next slide, which shares with you the design philosophy for ASUS design team. For ASUS design, how design is created, it all simply starts from people. People are our greatest assets. Without people, design wouldn't be able to continue at all. So simply you can see with this strong passion in all of our minds, integrating with the macro trends and micro trends that we do every year so then we know where the world is heading into and we can de de develop a design theme for 2019. What is the design theme for 2019? It is called return to the true essence. When communicating these essences for laptops, simply we're focusing on a more minimal and more cleaner design language and then also by looking at what users really need in the laptops, either from a physical or emotional level. This essences will be communicating in different formats, especially in the two main product line we're introducing you today. In Zenbook, it will simply focus on the essence of soul, which we want Zenbook to be a device that can inspire your spirit and the peacefulness in your soul and life. And then if you look at Vivo Book, we're talking about the essence of explorations that we simply want Vivo Book to inspire the braveness that you can explore in your life. So you can see there's a lot of stories. So let's take a look of next, which is our Zenbook. Zenbook as a premium flagship icon of Asus product line. It is especially the embodiment of our design value. As you may know, it was very originally inspired by a high-end timepiece with a fine portions and luxurious details and time here as a soft element in the story that we simply want Zenbook to be a device that can stand the test of time. So it is a laptop simply striving to achieve the balance between power and beauty. And here you can also see we want the users of Zenbook that can sense the Zen that we wanted to bring to the users. Zen is a consciousness is within you where your consciousness is as calm as water, allowing you to be focused and to experience things purely as they are. So as Zenbook is a device full of stories, full of insights and spirits, 
Let's take a look at a video next, which dates back to 2011, when the first Zambo was born. In the video that you're going to see, there are a lot of stories, a lot of DNA that we're still using them, carry them in the future Zen books. Let's take a look at the video. It is truly an inspiring video, right? It reminds us how Zenbook has been together with us throughout the years, and it has created various momentum. Today, in this special occasion, we would like to bring you another unforgettable moment. So let's feel the design theme of 2019. In 2019, this year, we have perfected the perfection again. I'm very excited here to introduce you the new Zenbook S13, which is again a Zenbook that evolved from power and beauty. You can see the CNC milled aluminum unibody design makes the new Zenbook S13 clean, minimal, and compact. It is born in a sophisticated color called Utopia Blue, as if it is extracted from the pureness and innocence of a peaceful water. When you turn to the angle, you see the laptop's beauty is frozen in time, simply by the silver shine diamond cup borders. The diamond cup borders are shining through the edge, ending at each crisp corners that complete an elegant outlook. You can see from the appearance, you also find the Asus iconic spun metal finish is there reflecting, reminding you the steel water mirroring your soul. Zenbook S13 this year, with the world's slimmest bezel that reaches to 97% screen to body ratio, this year we simply want to bring you more far away the sky that you could experience, but not sacrificing the camera at all. So unlike other rivals in the market, you could see the top mounted camera design this year is giving you the best video chatting experiences, but not sacrificing the camera position. So you could see that is really an amazing feature and basically that you to see more of the experiences. With the four-sided nano edge design this year, you could see we've made Zenbook S13 even our smallest laptop but with a large 13.9 inches display. Compared to the previous Zenbook, you could see the overall footprint of the new Zenbook S13 is minimized to be 12.5% smaller. So that means you can easily put it in your purse, in your briefcase, or no more trouble using it in a tiny tray table while you're traveling as well. With the new Zenbook S13, the small size doesn't mean less power, Within this compact and thin and light design, we're bringing you the NVIDIA discrete graphic performances and also the very latest Intel Core i7 processor. So in fact, Zenbook S13 is the world's thinnest laptop that is only 12.9 millimeters and then 1.1 kilograms. So it is seriously a portable powerhouse that is offering you up to 15 hours battery life that you will never need to leave behind wherever you go. 
Another exciting thing to show you, aside from ZenBook S13, we're also introducing you another attractive option, which is the ZenBook 14, which shares this very similar design language and the same Utopia Blue, and then also the Zen-inspired spawn metal finishes there. But there are two major differences comparing to the ZenBook S13. The first major difference can be seen when you open the laptop, which is the number pad design. The number pad design, you can easily switch between the touchpad to number pad with simply a click on the icon. The even smarter thing from the number pad is, this number pad can smartly sense your fingertip movements, that it knows whenever you are using a cursor or you are typing a number. So that is very simple to say. You can still be using a traditional number pad. You can still be using a traditional touchpad while the number pad is activated. The other special feature to mention here within ZenBook 14 is that within this thin and light design, it comes with the quad speakers that usually can be only made in larger size laptops, for example, 15 or 17 inches laptop. So these quad speakers are positioned upward facing and then also beneath the laptop. It is giving you a very good breathtaking audio experiences, giving you the highest pitch from the top and the strongest bass from the bottom. And it is again certified by Harman Kardon, the music expert as well. Again, ZenBook 14 doesn't sacrifice performance for the size. Equipped it with the very latest 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor, together with MX150 graphics, plus up to 16 gigabytes RAM and up to one terabyte SSD. The ZenBook 14 delivering the speed and power you need. So overall, you can see this is the ZenBook S13 and the ZenBook 14's design insights and the product details. Let's enjoy an official product video coming from ZenBook S13. Exciting, right? Next, another very exciting moment to share with you is the new VivoBook series. Previously, we talked about ZenBook to evoke the inner peace for users. VivoBook this year is to inspire your braveness to embrace any possibilities and adventures in your life. So with the strong tagline, Say Me, it is a laptop for those who is active, edgy, and forward-thinking. So for millions of personalities in the world, you can see VivoBook has been helping its users to search their true selves through color. This year, we're introducing you a new transparent silver, a slate gray, and then also to two other unique color choices I'm introducing you now. One of the color is called Peacock Blue. It's a color travels from blue to purple spectrum. It is very reflective and mystic. It is a color shows surprises and sophistication. Another color that you can see is called Coral Crush. It's a color that is gentle yet determined. It's a color coming from the pure innocence and it shows the life and the hope that we want in the life. So from here you can see as colors are getting more and more gender specific, it is simply about the integrity which speaks the most for our users in this flatter world. As our design all starts from people that we talked about that earlier on, we specifically designed a new VivoBook series to be your true companion. 
simply from the hinge area that you can see, it's in a curved shape. So then our users can take it anywhere, any place else with a very comfortable and reliable handheld. And then also as VivoBook R for the dreamers, we've also designed the four-sided nano edge display that is reaching 88% screen to body ratio. That doesn't limit our users' imagination. When you open the laptop, what do you see? You see the ergo lift design that is one of the notable design for Asus product is perfectly matching the hinge cap, which is giving you a great thermal dissipation and a good typing angle. Inside the laptop, what you see also is the dotted patterns that is rippling out in the radius. So that is meaning we're also not sacrificing the details for every style owners as well. Even more, for a laptop like VivoBoat that's been carrying to anywhere, place, any places, anytime, the more compact is meaning more freedom for our users. So VivoBoat series, as you see in the slide, is calculated to be 7.6% smaller than the previous VivoBook. And also, it owns all the tools that you will need for a productive day. You can see it is with the very latest Intel Core i7 processor, together with the NVIDIA MX130 graphics, plus up to 16 gigabytes RAM and up to 512 gigabytes SSD. The new VivoBook series is giving you both the super fast performances and a large capacity that you can combat any needs in your productive day. Another interesting feature to mention is the new VivoBook 15 is also featuring the Intel Optane memory technology. So what does that mean? That means your apps can load faster and your multitasking day will be smoother in the future. So overall, this is all of the design insights, all of the design stories, and all of the product details behind the new ZenBook S13, the ZenBook 14, and the new VivoBook series. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all are very excited for the new products. So I would like to end my presentation here to let you know, as you can sense, ASUS as an overall team, that we're trying to achieve a lot of momentum for our users. We're trying to achieve to help the users to achieve more in their work and life. And in the future, we will continue to do so. So thank you very much for listening. And I'm going to hand my presentation to the next speaker, which is our ASUS design director, Phil, which he will introduce you the design stories behind the ROG products. Thank you very much. And let's welcome Phil. Thank you, C. Hello and welcome. My name is Phil Liang. I'm a design director of ASUS Design Center. So today, I'm super excited to be here to share with you some design stories of our ROG products. So let's get started. ROG's mission has always been producing the most innovative gaming solutions that enable the ultimate experiences for gamers. We believe that the ROG experience is comprised of these three pillars, brand culture, product, and community. And when we design for the ROG experience, we follow these three keywords, edgy, rebel, and fusion. Edgy is about innovation. So we constantly think about innovations that can help gamers play better. Our AAS technology, Active Aerodynamic System, is a good example. And our slash product identity is the way we show the innovative spirit. It represents a very clear separation between old and new, and it brings out brand new sensual experiences. Rebel is about attitude. So when we design, we don't constrain ourselves with design norms. We design products to be asymmetrical, and by so doing, brings out functional highlights, as well as better performance. And also, contrast CMF treatment is one way we celebrate our rebellious endeavors. And finally, fusion. Fusion is about reconstruction. So we always try to take the best from different worlds, mix them, 
and transform the result into a brand new thing, a better thing, of course. Whether that be patterns that are a mixture of different culture, or the liquid cooling system that's or originally from the car industry. So with these three keywords, we have developed many, many products that we are proud of. And today, just like I said, um, I'm very excited to talk more about two of our latest creations, the ROG Mothership and the ROG Zephyrus S. Starting with the ROG Mothership, the ultimate gaming solutions. The design of the Mothership uh, focuses on the needs of game and hardware enthusiasts. These are gamers who really know what they want, and they simply want the best. We believe that these three extremes can be very attractive to these gamers. Extreme performance, extreme adaptiveness, and also extreme immersion. So the idea and the name of this device came from the outer space mothership. So it's a super powerful ship that could fulfill all the missions, and yet it's agile and is also capable of deploying smaller ships to um, cope to different mission scenarios. So that's why we call this the ROG mothership. The ROG mothership is a 17-inch standing notebook that features an... Oops, sorry. It's, um, okay, so ROG Mothership, it's a 17-inch standing notebook that features a very innovative, detachable, and also foldable keyboard. In order to achieve the standing design, we made it with CNC process to have the best control over precision and also solidity. So the body of the Mothership, uh, the system, and also the keyboard, these are made out of solid aluminum pieces. So with the standing design, we're able to leverage the stack effect and make ROG mothership a lot thinner than traditional clamshells with similar performance. The space underneath the kickstand right here. So it's designed to be both a thermal tunnel and also a light tunnel. So cool air will enter the system from here as well as from the back of the, the mothership and thus creating unbelievable cooling capability. It is simple to use the mothership. You simply has, have to unfold the keyboard and you're ready to go. But that's not, uh, that's not the best way and we have an even better way uh, for you to use it. So if you play a lot of games like me, uh, you probably already have noticed that when we play, our keyboard is most likely not parallel to our screen. So there are, here are some images uh, of gamers playing games. That's why we designed the mothership to have a detachable and foldable keyboard so that you can place it however you like and also it will give you more room for your mouse. And here are some uh, scenarios that we'd imagine people uh, to use mothership. So you have the simplest way to use it. You just unfold the keyboard and you're ready to go. And also you could detach the keyboard, uh, fold it into half and to adjust it to have better ergonomics. And here, if you have your own preferred mechanical keyboards, you could use Mothership with your own keyboard. And Mothership, since it's a standing laptop, um, you, it wouldn't take up too much desk space. And finally, is the optimus setup. We imagine that gamers would uh, use Mothership. So you have external keyboard and mouse and also external monitors. And actually, Mothership can support up to three external monitors. And other than performance and ergonomics, ROG Mothership uh, is, to, to, uh, is designed to outperform all the other clamshells when it comes to audio and video quality. Uh, with this, 144 hertz full HD panel together with the four front-facing speakers with aura lighting. The audio and video quality that the mothership can bring to you will truly impress you. So here I have an exciting product video of the mothership. Let's take a look.
Thank you. So next, uh, I would also like to introduce you to the GX701, uh, which we call it the Zephyrus S. So Zephyrus S is the latest member of our Zephyrus family. And we focus on avid gamers. So these are gamers who are looking for the best immersive gaming experiences. And during our research, we found that quite a few of these gamers, they actually use their machines for both gaming and working. And that's why we designed our Zephyrus series to uh, fulfill both scenarios. That being said, the design of the Zephyrus S focuses on these three things. Fast performance, small footprint so that you can carry it around, and also sufficient battery life. Uh, Zephyrus S is the thinnest 17-inch gaming laptop that features the latest NVIDIA RTX 2080 with Max-Q technology. And just like other Zephyrus members, uh, the Zephyrus S in same performance is enabled by the AAS technology. Also, it is equipped with a 17-inch narrow bezel panel with an impressive 81% screen-to-body ratio. And thanks to its um, screen uh, narrow bezel design, the footprint of the GX701 is small enough to be carried around with a 15-inch laptop bag. And I have one here to show you. Thank you. So th this one is a 15-inch laptop backpack. And as you can see here, the Zephyrus S, this one, can fit perfectly into this backpack. So 15-inch bag, 17-inch uh, laptop. The Zephyrus S is 23% more compact and also 40% thinner than a regular 17-inch gaming laptop. So it's pretty portable and very impressive. Also for this model, we've uh, improved the physical interface by adding this uh, volume roller here, uh, which you can roll up and down to adjust volume. And also, you could uh, know the status of your volume uh, by looking at the indicator right here. We believe it's more intuitive to use, and also it's easier to understand the status of your volume. So that's one improvement. And last but not least is the RGB lighting on the C part. So the Zephyrus S has the per key lighting and also a RGB lighting logo on the C part. And both of them could be changed according to your setting or according to gaming scenarios. So we believe that uh, the lighting right here have both uh, emotional and also functional value to our gamers. So next, I would like to hand over the stage to my colleague, Sasha, and he will share with you more about these two products from a more technical aspect. And before that, let me show you the exciting product video of Zephyrus S. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, my name is Sascha Krohn. I'm originally from Germany, but I'm based in Taipei headquarters for ASUS ROG. I'm the Senior Global Technical Marketing Manager, and I'm here to show you and tell you a little bit more about the technical details behind everything that Phil already introduced you to. So, first of all, all you guys are ROG VIPs. I mean, this whole event, this whole show, we're doing it just for you guys. And you can imagine it's quite a lot of work and quite a lot of effort. So I hope you appreciate it. We do it all for you guys. <laughs> and like Jeff mentioned, we have a great position here in the Middle East, and it's thanks to you guys. So thank you. So 
when we created ROG uh, Mothership, um, customer feedback was very important to us and, and always has been. That's where our innovation starts. And um, that's pretty much um, what all our products are about. It's all about innovation. And we want to innovate and not iterate. So we just started at CES. I was just there two days ago and flew all the way over here. Um, and we just announced our RTX gaming laptop refresh. So you probably all know about the new RTX series, bringing even better performance to gaming laptops, unheard of efficiency, and it even enables ray tracing and DLSS and other really nice features on gaming laptops. So we're going to refresh all our models with RTX graphics, 2080, 2070, 2060. And you can see them later upstairs. Um, but specifically, now let's talk about the new models, Mothership and Zephyrus S GX701. So we have three different segments that we identified for our gamers, um, for our customers. And those are the Strix series, which you probably know, the SCAR 2, the Hero 2 for our eSport gamers. Then we have the Zephyrus series, which is all about portability. So it's the slimmest gaming laptops in the world, both for 15-inch and 17-inch. And those are all for portability, super slim and ultra portable, basically like an ultra book of the gaming laptops. And then there's also desktop replacements. So most people are not familiar with desktop replacements that much because they don't really use them. Desktop replacements are really big, really heavy laptops, and they're all about performance. That's the reason why they still exist. They look like a laptop from maybe five or 10 years ago. They're really big and chunky. And most people just say, why is it so big? Why is it so heavy? This doesn't make sense. Because they don't need that much performance, or they don't want that much performance. But there's still a lot of people who do want it. And that's why desktop replacements still exist. And you might know, you hopefully know, our <laughs> desktop replacement model, the G703 Griffin. The reason we call it Griffin is also a part of the desktop segment Mantra Oval. A Griffin, it's a big lion. It's very powerful, dangerous, but it can still fly. So it's still somewhat portable, even though it's a big, powerful beast. And with Mothership, we sought to innovate and not just iterate. So we could have just updated G703 and just added the new graphics and just added new features, and we did. And we still offer that because some customers prefer the traditional clamshell desktop replacement. But we always want to do more. We always want to innovate and think outside of the box. And the way we do that is we ask customers when they buy our products to register online. And a few months later, we sent them a survey. And we asked them, what do you like about this product? What do you not like about this product? How would you like to improve it? What would you like to improve? And based on that, we drive innovation internally. And we work together with our customers. And one of the big feedback points that we got is customers want desktop replacements to be even closer to a real desktop. They want to be able to have an experience almost like using a desktop. So moving the screen around, moving the keyboard around independently of each other, or even using their own keyboard. That's something that you can't do with a clamshell desktop replacement laptop. You can't just put your own keyboard on top. But that's something that Mothership can do. You can detach the keyboard. It automatically switches to 2.4 gigahertz, low latency, wireless connection. There's a built-in battery for eight hours of battery life. And as soon as you plug it back in, it automatically charges and switches back to USB for super low latency, one millisecond latency. Even when it's detached, you can actually connect it via Type-C cable. So even then, you can still use it with one millisecond USB latency. So there you see it again. You can completely detach the keyboard, fold it over, or just use any keyboard you want. Keyboards are very personal. And you probably know among your friends, everybody has a different opinion about keyboards, right? Some people say this keyboard is the best. Other people say that keyboard is the best. Some people use keyboards that are 5 or 10 years old. There are even people who use 20-year-old keyboards, and they swear that's the best keyboard. They don't want to use another one. So that's something really cool with Mothership. You can just use your own keyboard. You can adjust the screen, just like on a desktop. You can recline the panel steplessly. You can move it left or right, independently of the keyboard. You can go from an angle of 105 degrees to 127 degrees. And again, the keyboard goes automatically wireless. The whole chassis of Mothership is CNC'd 
out of one big chunk of aluminum. It takes around 20 hours to CNC all the pieces that you need to make one mothership. So you can Im imagine it's quite laborious. It takes a lot of time and it's 114 steps. So you have to take one piece out of one machine and put it into another machine and put it in another machine again. So it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. But it makes it so much better. The stability is much better. We can make Mothership 20 millimeters slimmer than a comparable desktop replacement in clamshell. To give you an idea, Mothership compared to our competitors, clamshell desktop replacement laptop is around half the thickness. So that's a really big improvement. And it looks and feels very nice, obviously. So as with all desktop replacement laptops, it's all about performance. It's for people who want the maximum performance, the best of the best. And that obviously has to be a very high refresh rate panel. It has to be G-Sync and a low response time. And that's something we're very proud of. We've had the panel gaming laptop panel leadership for several years now. We've worked together with AUO, AU Optronics, which is the leading panel vendor for gaming laptop displays. And they have become this thanks to the cooperation with us. So when we started working with them, everybody was still with 60 hertz panels. And there were starting to be some gaming laptops with 120 hertz panels, but those were with TN. Poor viewing angles, poor colors. We didn't want to sacrifice the colors and the viewing angles. We wanted an IPS AHVA panel with high refresh rate. So we worked together with AUO and we created the first 120 hertz HVA panel for gaming laptops. We then created the first 144 hertz panel and we then pushed the response time down to three milliseconds. And today, if you want to go out and buy a gaming laptop panel, the best gaming laptop panel, that is this AUO 144 hertz three millisecond panel that we developed together with AUO. Now, there are some people who say they can't feel the difference between 144 hertz, 120 hertz, or maybe they can't see the difference between G-Sync on and G-Sync off. It's kind of like with red wine. If you're not familiar with red wine, you don't really drink red wine, you know you can give somebody the best red wine in the world, and they probably can't tell the difference between the cheapest red wine either. To them, it's the same. But anybody who knows about high refresh rate gaming, high FPS gaming, and who's used the G-Sync monitor or G-Sync panel for a while, they know the difference. They can tell the difference. And you can put it side by side, and they can see it in an instant. And they will tell you, if you want the best, you want G-Sync. If you want the best, you want the highest refresh rate possible and the lowest response time possible. So what's really cool about Mothership as well it actually has some other bells and whistles that the G703 desktop replacement does not have. It's our first laptop with Wi-Fi 6, aka Wi-Fi AX. So they recently changed the way that they named the Wi-Fi standards because most people can't really understand what it's all about. BGN, BC, AX, AD, it's kind of complicated. So they now change it to Wi-Fi 6, that's the next standard. And the current one is Wi-Fi 5. That's the Wi-Fi AC you probably know about. So this is going to be our first gaming system with Wi-Fi AX, 2.4 gigabits per second wireless bandwidth. And to be actually able to send and receive that much data wirelessly, you obviously need to be able to receive it over the wire as well, right? So it comes with a 2.5 gigabit per second LAN port as well ready for the future, ready for the next five, possibly 10 years. On top of that, we now have Wi-Fi Range Boost built into all our gaming laptops, the whole lineup. For those of you who are not familiar with it, that's a feature we introduced at Computex around half a year ago for our Strix series, our SCAR2 and Hero2 models. We were and still are the first brand to build four Wi-Fi antennas into our gaming laptops. So most Wi-Fi solutions, every Wi-Fi solution, as a matter of fact, can only use two Wi-Fi antennas. So why would we put four in a laptop? Well, with Wi-Fi antennas, it's a little bit like with smartphone antennas. You probably remember there was a certain brand of smartphone where if you touch it in a certain way and you hold it in a certain way, you have poor reception. That's actually very similar with Wi-Fi signals as well. You might have even noticed that if you hold your phone in a certain way, your Wi-Fi signal is getting stronger or weaker. And with laptops, it's the same thing. 
So depending on how you move your laptop around and where the Wi-Fi signal is coming from, you can go from very good reception to very poor reception. And you can even be able to lose the signal if you're too far away from the access point from the router. Now, if we have four Wi-Fi antennas, we can dynamically cycle through the antennas, and we always use the two antennas with the best reception. So we place the antennas on different locations on the laptop, and no matter how you move it around, where you touch the laptop, and where the Wi-Fi signal is coming from, with our four antennas, you always have the best possible Wi-Fi signal. So that ensures you don't lose the Wi-Fi signal, and you always have the highest bandwidth possible. Thanks to the standing design of Mothership, it acts kind of like a thermal tunnel. So on a regular laptop, you can imagine the laptop is standing flat on the table. It's having a really hard time to suck air from under the sides of the notebook onto the center of the notebook, then into the notebook, and then exhaust it to the back. Not only is it difficult to pull the air in from the sides, it actually means the air heats up while it's flowing under the notebook. That's something you don't want. You want the coolest air possible to go into the notebook. And the best way to do that is you suck it in directly to the fan without it going over any warm components. And that's exactly what we can do with Mothership. So you can imagine, with Mothership standing up straight, we can pull in the air directly from the back and exhaust it to the sides and to the top. This also means that hot air that it gets exhausted doesn't touch your hands and it doesn't touch anywhere on your desk. So you don't feel any of the hot air coming out of the notebook. And because it's so easy to pull the cold air into the system, we can get lower temperatures, which means we don't need to spin the fans at such a high speed, and the system is more quiet. Another cool thing about Mothership, literally, is the thermal module. So some people talk about heat pipe numbers, and they make it sound like more heat pipes automatically mean more performance. To an average consumer, that makes sense. But anybody who knows about thermals knows that the pure quantity of heat pipes, how many you have, doesn't necessarily define how good the thermal solution is. There are some desktop heat sinks, which is the easiest way to see the difference, that have a lot of heat pipes, but they are outperformed by other heat sinks that have much less heat pipes. Heat pipes are not all the same. There are actually very big differences in heat pipes in performance and in quality. We use the highest performance and quality heat pipes available on the market. And we not only use the best, but we also use them in a smart way. So this is a good example of how to do a good thermal module. And I'm going to share it with you free of charge. <laughs> and probably our competitors are going to copy us. So this is the CPU. And you can see two heat pipes are going up to the top from the CPU. One is going to the right, and one is going all the way over here to the left. So that way, we can move all the heat from the CPU to the left, to the top, and to the right. That means we can remove heat faster and more efficiently than everybody else. Currently, nobody else is doing it like this. As a result, to give you an idea, we use a Core i9-8950HK. We factory overclock it to 4.8 gigahertz, so we guarantee that every system runs at 4.8 gigahertz. You can manually actually overclock it further to 5 gigahertz and even higher. That's only possible thanks to our thermal solution. Our competitors, for example, who don't do this, get a Cinebench score of around 1,400. We get a Cinebench score of around 1,650, so big performance boost. And for those of you who follow the news, you probably heard about the um, fruit-themed fruit company, uh, Ultrabook, with a Core i9 that only reached a Cinebench score of around 1,000, maybe 1,100. So again, we're getting around 1,650. So that's a big difference, all thanks to a smart thermal design. Another technology that allows us to have excellent thermals in Mothership it's actually very interesting. It's LCP fans, which we originally developed for our very first Zephyrus model. So when we had set out to create the slimmest gaming laptop in the world, we knew that we had to think outside of the box. You can't just iterate and take another step and another step and another step and expect to have some breakthrough and something really special that nobody else can do. So we created different fans out of a different material. 
And now we can actually use those fans in Mothership in our high-performance, high-end desktop replacement, and it allows us to make the system thinner, quieter, and have extra performance. So LCP stands for Liquid Crystal Polymer. It sounds like it's just fancy plastic. In essence, it actually is. But it's pretty cool plastic. Because what happens is, when you inject this special kind of plastic at very high temperature and very high pressure, and then let it cool down slowly, all the molecules form a bond and interlock with each other, and they form a crystal structure. That means the plastic becomes much stronger and much more rigid. As a result, we're able to make the fins in the fan much slimmer, and we can have a lot more fan blades on each of the fans. The more fan blades you have, the more air you can push, and the higher the air pressure is. That's how we're able to make our fans super slim and still have very high airflow and air pressure. That's how we got 83 fan blades on our fans in Mothership. And once you have that many fan blades, you actually need more power to really make the fan spin and get the full performance. So we had to upgrade the motors of the fan as well. We could just increase the current to the motor, but that would actually increase temperature and reduce lifetime of the fan. So instead, we changed the, the motors for 12-volt fans, which allow the fans to be much more powerful and spin faster. A very cool innovation as well that we came up with a few years ago on our G752, for those of you who remember, is our dust release system. It's a self-cleaning cooling system. It works in a similar way as a Dyson vacuum cleaner. So you have a vortex, you spin the air in a circle. Dust particles are heavier than the air, so they get pushed out further to the edge of the fan chamber. So you can see the dust gets pushed out. Ah, come on. There we go. The dust gets pushed out further to the edge and then gets pushed out here. So it doesn't get stuck in the thermal module. As a result, the lifetime of your laptop increases one or two years. It depends on your environment. If your apartment is particularly dusty, you have pets, or you smoke, and there's a lot of dirt, it will actually enhance the lifetime of your laptop a lot. If you have a very neat and clean place, it might not make that much of a difference. But it's a very cool feature, enhancing the lifetime of your laptop, and means you still get good temperatures and low fan noise, even after two, three, four years after buying the laptop. Besides this, all our gaming laptops, so dust release, we have that on all our models now. We introduced that on G752. We have it on all our gaming laptops now, including Mothership. Besides this, we have fine-tuned performance modes. So this is not just a fan mode. We don't just reduce the fan speed and set it to different settings, and as a result, you get better temperatures or more performance. We actually fine-tune the CPU and the GPU TDP and TGB settings. So what does that mean? We create three different modes because everybody has a different preference, right? Some people are very sensitive to noise. They want a very quiet environment. Other people don't care about noise at all, especially when they're playing games. They probably use a headset, so they just want the maximum performance. So for performance, we have turbo mode. And for people who are sensitive to noise, we have silent mode. What silent mode does is we fine-tune the performance to make sure the system, and we fine-tune this for every laptop individually, for every model, at 35 dB or less. And you can still play games at 35 dB. That's really impressive. And if you get a chance to try it, I really suggest you to try it. It's really crazy when you switch to silent mode and the fan just starts to disappear and the system still runs completely smooth. And depending on the game you play, you're still getting 100 FPS, 120 FPS, or even more. For the webcam on Mothership, we have a 1080p webcam, full HD, and it's an IR camera, so it supports Windows Hello. You don't even have to swipe your finger, you don't have to type in any passwords, you just sit down in front of Mothership and it locks you in automatically. And for audio, we have a built-in sound bar 
with four drivers of four watts each. So the total output is 16 watts. It's really powerful. It's really loud. You don't have to bring any speakers. And the cool thing about it is it has built-in RGB lighting as well. And as a fun side effect, when you cycle through the different colors, the membrane of the speakers actually absorb some of the frequencies of the light. So they glow in different colors, depending on the color the light bar is currently glowing in. It looks pretty cool. You can see it on, on the demo systems later. So a quick sum up, ROG Mothership, completely new way of having a desktop replacement. It does a much better job at replacing a desktop and being a portable desktop replacement than a clamshell desktop replacement laptop. For a clamshell laptop, the keyboard is raised up above the desk. It's not that ergonomic. For this, you can move the keyboard anywhere you want. You can bring your own keyboard. And you still get the same performance and the same features and even extra features as a clamshell desktop replacement laptop. Core i9, overclocked, 4.8 gigahertz, RTX 2080. And this is a full RTX 2080, 180 watts. So you're really getting the full performance. It's not a Max-Q 2080. It's a full performance 2080. And you're getting RAID 0, three SSDs in RAID 0, 64 GB DDR4, 2800 megahertz, four memory slots. And what's cool about the SSD as well is if you're familiar with the tech SSDs, a single high-end SSD these days can saturate the bandwidth between the chipset and the CPU. So if you use more than one SSD, you don't actually get more performance. Because SSDs have become so fast, the, bad, the data can't even get from the SSD to the CPU fast enough because of the chipset. So why are we using three of them in RAID 0? Well, we work together with Intel on a little tweak, and we connect two of the SSDs directly to the CPU PCI Express lanes and one to the chipset. And we're still able to run all three of them in RAID 0. That way, instead of 3,500 megabytes per second, we get around 8,700 megabytes per second. So SSD-wise, that's a two to three times performance improvement, and by far the fastest SSD in any laptop. Next, here's the Zephyrus S GX701, the slimmest 17-inch gaming laptop on the market. And it doesn't come just with a 2060 or 2070. It comes with a 2080. And that's really impressive if you consider that it's only 18.7 millimeters slim. Just like all our Zephyrus models, it's a full metal chassis. It's made of aluminum and magnesium aluminum alloys for a very premium feel and look. And like all our Zephyrus models, it looks very understated. It looks very, very classy. If you turn off all the RGB lighting, it looks just like a nice Ultrabook. So this is the history of our Zephyrus models. You can see the first one, the GX501. That was only 18 months ago. So you can imagine all the innovation we've gone through in just 18 months. This is actually the fifth Zephyrus models, if you count all of them. And all this in just 18 months. So you can see we're really innovating at a very high pace. What's funny is the form factor like Phil mentioned, of the Zephyrus SGX701 is actually comparable to the form factor of the original Zephyrus GX501. So that means compared to the original 15-inch laptop, for the same size, you're now getting a 17-inch screen. You're getting a volume wheel. You're getting a perky RGB keyboard that glows much brighter. And you're getting a lot of performance improvements as well. So a 17-inch laptop and a 15-inch form factor, pretty much. It's the most compact 17-inch gaming laptop ever. There's nobody else who's getting close. 18.7 millimeters thickness and an 81% screen-to-body ratio. Now, compared to the ZenBook, that isn't that impressive. But you also have to take into account that this is a 144 hertz, 3 millisecond panel with G-Sync. We have the volume wheel, the volume roller, for a better user experience. And the reason we did that is because Space is at a very big premium if you have an ultra-portable laptop. So in our other laptops, we have several hotkeys. 
to adjust the volume, to mute the microphone. But here, we don't have a lot of space. So the volume wheel allows us to have all those functions in just a single small button. This is a custom part we designed ourselves. We didn't just use a mouse wheel. This is, again, all about innovation. From beginning to end, this whole piece was custom engineered by ourselves. It was CNC manufactured out of metal as well. It's a very high quality product, lasts very long, very long MTBF, and it has a built-in LED, like Phil mentioned. We support AuraSync. AuraSync lets you match all your ROG peripherals and monitor all your ROG gear and adjust the lighting to be the same. And we're working with game publishers like Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So if somebody sets you on fire in the game, your whole system glows like it's on fire. Your keyboard, your mouse, your headset, your monitor, all glow at the same time. If somebody kills you, if somebody shoots at you, all the peripherals glow in the same color. It makes you feel a lot more immersed in the game. And of course, you can turn it off. For anybody who doesn't like RGB, and you know there's some RGB haters, you can just turn it off. Or you can set it to white or blue, whichever color you want. Another cool thing about our RTX refresh, so all the new models that are coming out now, the new gaming laptops, we now have Pantone certification. So we fine-tune the colors and have higher accuracy. As a result, you have much stronger colors and much more vivid images. And we have ROG GPU switch. That's a hardware technology that we developed ourselves, which allows us to switch from G-Sync to Optimus. So usually when you have G-Sync, that means the GPU has to be always on. You cannot turn it off, even if you're not using it. Even if you're just browsing Facebook, the GPU has to be on because it's driving the panel. We created our own hardware solution to switch the display signal on the motherboard in the laptop so that we can still turn off the panel, uh, the GPU, and still keep the panel powered through the integrated graphics so you can have long battery life and you can have G-Sync. For all our Zephyrus models, what everybody remembers is the AAS, Active Aerodynamic System. So the bottom of the laptop actually opens up. That way, we get extra airflow from the bottom. We have ultra-thin copper heatsink fins, 0.1 millimeter thin. As a result, the surface area of the heatsink is extra large, which allows us, again, even in a super slim Zephyrus laptop, we can dissipate all the heat of high-end components. Again, LCP, self-cleaning cooling system, the fine-tuned performance modes, and Aura Sync. And Smart Amps as well. In GX701, we also use two large speakers that directly face up towards the user. And thanks to Smart Amps, we're able to pump out really loud sound, as you can hear on the demo systems later. And as you might have noticed, we don't have a built-in webcam on GX701. The reason is we didn't want to compromise. If we put a webcam on the bottom of the screen, it looks up your nose. It's not a very nice angle. If we put it on top, we can put a webcam there, but either the bezel has to be thicker or the webcam quality is not going to be very good. And most people already say that the quality of webcams that are built in is not really good, especially for gamers, especially for streaming. So we created our own small, compact webcam. It's about the size of a big USB thumb drive. It's super low weight. It's super compact. And you can attach it anywhere on the laptop you want. Even better, you can attach it on your external monitor. Because we found in surveys that most gamers who care about the webcam actually connect it to their monitor. It also comes with a little stand that allows you to put it on a shelf or it has a mount for a tripod as well. So you can really put the webcam anywhere you want. And it has a built-in hardware accelerated background noise cancellation mechanism. There's two microphones. And any noise that does not come exactly from in front of the camera is removed. You can still hear it a little bit, but it's really, really quiet. 
the best Wi-Fi, in this case, Wi-Fi 5, Wave 2, 17, 1733 megabits per second, 1.7 gigabits per second, range boost, and my favorite feature of the new Zephyrus lineup, our RTX refresh of the Zephyrus models. Both the Zephyrus S 15-inch and 17-inch now support Type-C charging. Type-C charging can only go up to 99 watts. For gaming laptops, you need 280 watts, 230 watts. So how are we doing it? Well, when you're playing games, it's when you really need all that power, when you need all that performance. But you're going to play games probably at home, probably in one place. So when you go out, you usually don't play games. You go to work, you go to university, you go to meet some friends. You don't actually need 280 watts of power. You don't need 230 watts of power. So in those scenarios, a Type-C charger really makes sense. What you're doing on your laptop when you're outside probably only needs around 30, 40, maybe 50 watts. And that's the range that Type-C chargers work in really well. They're very lightweight, very compact, and best of all, they're almost everywhere these days. Almost everybody has a Type-C charger, right? You go somewhere, you go visit your friend, they probably have a Type-C charger. You're running low on battery, you just plug in the Type-C charger, and you're good to go. We don't support USB Type-C power delivery only. We actually made it work with any Type-C charger. You can even use a 10-year-old 5-watt smartphone charger with a Type-C cable, and it can charge your laptop. It's only 5 watts, but let's say you run out of battery. You plug it in at night, the next morning the battery's full. So as a result of this Type-C charging support, you can always just carry a small Type-C charger with you, and you'll never run out of battery. So again, a quick sum up of the Zephyrus S. This is the last part. After this, I see some of you are already a bit impatient. You can already start to get up and look at the new models. And we'll be here. You can ask us any questions if you want. Um, Zephyrus S GX701, slimmest 17-inch gaming laptop in the world, 8750H Core i7 CPU, 2080 Max-Q, only 18.7 millimeters slim, only 2.67 kilos in weight. And we also refreshed the Zephyrus S 15-inch, the GX531. 2.1 kilos, 14.9 millimeters. It's crazy how light it is, how thin it is. And there's a 2080 in there, RTX 2080. Just pick up the laptop. It's hard to imagine the volume of a graphics card and the weight of a graphics card is almost the same as the entire laptop. Really impressive. One terabyte storage and up to 24 GB DDR4 memory as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. For now, we would like to welcome ASUS Middle East Regional Head Jeff Lowe and Product Manager for ROG, Michael Ku, on stage. We would also like to invite our media friends to prepare your cameras. We would like to display some of the most lovely ROG products on stage. Thank you so much. All right, great, th great thanks to all the media friends. For now, we have three uh, dedicated stands for all the media friends to look into our products. On your right-hand side, 
There are the Asus products with Vivo books and Zen books. Up the stairs at the first floor, we have the latest Republic of Gamer machines, including the motherships. Right below the stage, we have our product team. Feel free to ask them all the questions. There will be also product managers at the stands, at the ROG stands and at the Zenbook stands, in case you have any questions. 10 minutes 